I, I was the director um, and um, Christopher uh, wrote the short film and he um, he knew he wanted to DP it, but he he didn't want to direct it. He was looking for someone and we've always been good friends. And so he kind of asked me if, um, if I would do it. When I uh, originally wrote the idea, the, the idea was always to have a film that I, I would DP. Um, I'm really more interested in the technical side of that. Uh, I'm, I'm not super, I guess, enthusiastic, you could say, about, you know, working with actors, doing the blocking and also being the person that everybody comes to when there's a problem. I, I really was looking towards Amanda because I knew that she had more experience with directing than I did. And she just has like a, a certain confidence about her that I knew if she had this project, even if there was a question I had, she'd be able to answer it. So that's sort of how that started. I believe, uh, Amanda, you could correct me if I'm wrong. I believe I had it written. Mm -hmm. um, and I just approached Amanda saying, hey, I have the script written. I, I, like, it's an idea that I have. Would you want to direct it? I know it's, you didn't write it, but would you be interested in directing it? And yeah, Amanda yeah, it was it was already it was already written, and um, I think some, maybe some small changes happened towards like during the process and as we were filming, but for the most part, it was already written. I mean, it was all kind of there. And what was the most exciting part of it when you read that script for the first time? I think um, it was you know the challenges that presented itself uh, for filming. You know, it was kind of uh, a little more. Uh, challenging than you know the previous films that I'd done before and also um I was excited to kind of toy with the audience you know um with how much the audience knew and when they knew it and how we could best present you know, that part of the story to them um and of course working with Christopher <laughs> was very exciting sorry I was just gonna say um that actually Christopher and Amanda worked very closely together and were very um, collaborative. So I just wanted to add that I'm, I'm sure that's part of why Christopher felt comfortable handing it off. And, um, you know, it's a testament to their relationship and their creative relationship as well. At what point um, did Toby come on board and, and everybody else as well? Um, I think I came on board uh, pretty early on as well. I had worked with Christopher and Amanda on previous projects as well. And then I knew that Christopher had this script and that Amanda was going to be directing it. And um, I think at that point, uh, you guys had started location scouting a little bit, trying to figure out the logistics um, and they didn't have a producer. And um, one of the, the scenes is actually filmed in one of my old apartments. Um, so that's kind of how I got looped in. Um, I miss that place. But um, yeah, I was really excited to work with Amanda and Christopher um, on this project because we had before as well. Yeah, I'll say that um, Christopher and I, you know, we're both a little more story based and Toby is, you know, we're not, we're not great at organizing things and people and to make a film, you need to have a lot of things and people lined up. And so Toby obviously was like the person that we brought in that was like able to make it all happen. Yeah. Casting, casting was really hard. Um, it was you know, just because the, the, I feel like the characters were written pretty specifically. Um, but luckily, so we um, cast out of a lot of people from the University of Florida, but some people um, that were not in that pool of people. Um, and I think the most the most important roles obviously were the role of Calypso and Barry. And um, we knew like, regardless of all, all the other characters, those were the ones that kind of would like make or break the film. And so I remember when we first saw um, Kiefer McDonald who plays um, Barry, we just immediately were like, he needs to be in as many scenes as possible. I think I embarrassingly like wrote down really loudly on my notes while we were casting. I was like, Kiefer needs to be in this. And I, I'm pretty sure everybody noticed at that moment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he was chosen first, first yeah. out of everybody. Yeah. yeah, he just brought like a complexity, I think, to the character that made it like more realistic, but also uh, brought like that outlandish kind of comedic thing uh, that we were also looking for. Sorry. And um, editing as well, to, you passed that off to Renato Rios. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, like Toby was saying, the entire process from, you know, pre-production to filming to post was super collaborative. I mean, the four of us are all really good friends. And so I think Renato was very involved, even though obviously he, he didn't start editing until 
after filming he was very present in the filming process and like the casting process so he knew exactly what we were looking for um and even you know going back to filming like toby was saying it was it was even especially between christopher and i like it was just so collaborative that i in my mind i even think i mean he wouldn't say it but i think of think of us more as like co-directors in a sense because um every decision you know nobody was um unilaterally like this is what we're going to do everything was a discussion and i think um you know decided upon as as uh, amongst us all renato when you were editing it um was there any scene that like after you made it you're like okay this is all working this is that's right um i think the highlight scene in my opinion i don't know what everyone else thinks i really like doing the montage scene where um there's like there's like frenetic music playing and like he's just repeating a mantra to himself and it like cuts back like very quickly and i think there is when i got i was like okay i i'm getting what i'm supposed to do with this like and and i got more into his head i was um with the with the mantra and also i don't know just like the quick the quick editing made me feel like i was i was in it with him like i understood what was going on and then i remember that i there's a quick very quick shot where I threw in um, a, an insert of the newspaper of the crime rates going up. And uh, I, I, I remember I put that in just like, oh, this would be cool to put in. And I think I remember Amanda agreed, like saying like, oh, that was a good, good choice. And I was like, yeah. cool, because and so like I, I felt more confident that like I'm, I'm getting what they wanted to do. And uh, and yeah, so I think that's the scene where I was like, OK, like I'm we're doing we're doing something right here. So, cool. yeah, I mean, uh, if you guys agree with that. No, yeah, I, I actually I remember that watching the um, like the first cut and seeing the montage and just being like, yeah, this this, um, you know, Renata was able to kind of put it together in a way that like, obviously we shot things and we're like, oh, this is for the month. This is for, but like actually seeing it all come together was super satisfying. It really worked.